Hey guys, Callie Fab here, and today I'm going to do my update for my hashtag 7 Deadly Pans or 7 Deadly Sins, however you want to say it. But this is with the Fantastic Ladies group on Facebook. Once again, I will leave their group link down below. But it has been so much fun being part of that community and just getting some of these projects like getting involved with some of these projects truly and just getting some of these items out of my collection or realizing that I really don't like all the items in my collection and decluttering. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and once again I hope the mirror in the background is okay because you can totally see the back of my head. But yeah, I hope that's okay with you guys because I really want to show off that mirror more because I really love it. But without further ado, let's get into some of the updates for this project. So the first item was Lust, and I had my Pure Silk Shave Cream in Kiwi Berry Bliss, and my Bird's Bees Body Lotion with Shea Butter and Vitamin E, and this is for all skin types, and it is fragrance-free. I'm still pretty much here at this line on this body lotion because I did buy a wet skin moisturizer, which I use more often. So I've been using this more as a hand cream and as like a foot cream at night. And then this one, I did use my shave cream about three times this past month or like between the last update and this update and I do feel like it's definitely getting down it's probably only right there to be totally honest but I do feel like I am getting these out and these will both be gone by the end of the project which is making me so happy to get this out of my shower and this off of my vanity in like next to my bed and at the last update I had 357 grams total with these two products and this update I have 337 grams so not as much progress as I have had in the past but like I said I didn't use much lotion and it was more grams from the shave cream so I am happy about the progress at least I'm still making progress but now that we're coming up more on summer and I've been wearing more like you know capri leggings and stuff like that I need to shave more often so I will be using up both of these products at the end of the project or by the end of the project. Next item was for Envy and it is the Butter London Nail Lacquer in Yummy Mummy. I really don't like this nail polish anymore. It's been peeling my nails so I am going to try to start using this on my toenails and honestly the color is just not right for me. It really doesn't accentuate like my skin tone or anything like that. I don't have anything on. I'm giving my nails a break for a while but yeah I'm just not... I'm not loving it. So at the last update, there was 57 grams and there's still 57 grams. Honestly, I haven't used this at all between the two updates and it just doesn't inspire me. It doesn't make me happy. It doesn't inspire me. It doesn't get me excited. Nothing. So I think I'm going to try to continue using this throughout the project on my toenails because I really don't care about my toenails. But hopefully that'll be a way that I can at least use up half of this. The next product category was Pride or Vanity. And for that, I chose my highlighter from the Balm Voyage or Voyage, whatever you want to say. Um, this was volume two in Kukarabisha. And here it is here. I will try to show a picture from last update on where I was, but this is where we are now. I have quite significant progress on this. Honestly, I am surprised I have not hit pan on this yet. I have been using it almost every single day as my glowy highlighter. I do love it so much. And honestly, I don't mind that it's in this like little tiny thing because my brush fits perfectly in that little pan. So I don't mind that at all. You could definitely use this as an inner corner highlight or a brow bone highlight if you like a very, very glowy inner corner corner um, but honestly I really like using this as my highlight and I just really enjoy it so I will layer it with a more natural highlight like I have on today and then I'll put this right on top which I don't have it on today because I wasn't feeling the glowy highlight I kind of went all out with the eyes today so I wasn't really feeling going all out with the face so I went very very neutral on the face but yeah, I really do like this one. I love it and I will continue using it. Oh, and I wanted to tell you the grams. So the grams last time was nine grams and it's still nine grams. Then for Wrath, I have my two liquid eyeliners. Honestly, I've only used this one twice since the last update and I have not used the L'Oreal um, Liner Noir at all since the last update. So they're both at six grams each, which is where they were at the last update. But honestly, I think by the end of the project, these are both gonna be used up. Like I said, I just want to get these two out of my collection. They are two of the oldest eyeliners I have in my collection. So I really just want to use them a couple times, get the love out of them, and get rid of them. So that's my plan for this project. And I did buy a Steel Stay All Day liquid liner. So that's going to be my goal to get more.
more of these liquid eyeliners out so that I can use that one instead. The next product is for sloth and it is the Neutrogena, Neutrogena? Neutrogena Moisture Stick Color Stick in the shade 110 Almond Nude. And honestly, I haven't used this at all since the last update. I've been trying a bunch of lipsticks. So here I am here and you know, I'm not too... I'm not too sad that I haven't used this a bunch because I really do like this, but it's like an everyday color for me. I definitely will be able to use it up by the end of the year, but as far as by the end of the project, honestly, I've been really enjoying some colored lipsticks, and yeah, I don't know. I just... I've been going for different colors and not just like the nude colors. I've been going for the brighter colors lately, and I'm really enjoying it, so I'm just kind of going with the flow, and if I use this, cool, and if not, then... Well, that's okay. But honestly, I would really like to have this finished by the end of the project. This is one of my older lip items that I have. I did get it in a subscription bag. I think I got it in an Ipsy. I could be wrong, but I got it in some sort of subscription. Maybe it was like a Target bag, but yeah, I do want to get this used up by the end of the year for sure. And that sloth product was 14 grams at the last update and it is still 14 grams right now. Now for Gluttony, you guys know that I have my Real Her Shadow Palette in Do Your Squats. I do have a full review coming up on this palette on Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. One of the next three days, you guys will see the palette update that I have or palette review that I have. I actually have four palette reviews, so once it's posted, I will link it down below. But here is the palette here. It is a very, very neutral but deeper toned neutral palette. I do really enjoy it. Honestly, since the beginning of the month, I was using it a bunch and then I stopped using it because I was reviewing all of those other products and palettes. And honestly, I've just been finding other palettes that I really enjoy. This is a fantastic neutral palette, but I've just been using a lot of other ones right now. So for the last update, I was at 128 grams for this palette, and I am still at 128 grams. Honestly, I have used this a little bit, but not a gram's worth of product that I have used since I have used this last. So I will continue to keep using this and keep it in my project, but Honestly, I'm kind of like over it because it's just a neutral, plain, boring palette. And I've been going for a lot of colors lately, especially now that it's the springtime and I'm really enjoying it. So I will continue to use this for when I go to work and stuff, but as of like using it for filming and stuff, I don't really use it that much. So I do enjoy it though. And the last product I have is for the category of greed and it is the elf tone adjusting face primer it is the green tone primer honestly I do think this is more of like a mineral infused their white toned primer it has more of that texture but then it has like a pore filling aspect to it as well it does nothing for my, my red tone literally it's just green but it just fades completely away it doesn't cover up any of the redness so I wouldn't call it a tone adjusting primer personally but I think it's like a mix between like a silicone mineral primer and a pore filling primer it's like that beautiful like marriage of the two and I'm really enjoying it right now because now that the weather is starting to get a little bit warmer and a little bit more moist in the air I know people don't like that word sorry but now that it's getting a little bit nicer out, my skin hasn't been so incredibly dry lately. So using this has really been nice. And now that I am done with my 8 by Easter project pan with the Becca First Light Priming Filters that I had in there, I've been using this a lot more and I've been really, really enjoying this. So when I first started this project, I was at 68 grams in here. The last two updates I had, I was at 65 grams, and now I'm at 62 grams of product in here. So I think I'm doing really, really well. I can definitely tell it's getting lighter and it's getting harder to pump out. This is a like an air, what is it called? Air push filter? I don't know, where you pump it and the air goes in the bottom and it like pushes it upward. God, I cannot remember what that is called. Leave a link, leave it down below if you guys can remember what that darn thing is called. But anyways, I'm really, really enjoying this and I do feel like when I use it, I get all of the product out because it is that type of pump on it. And yeah, it's only six bucks from e.l.f. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with this one. I really, really enjoy it. 
perfect for combination skin. So that was all of the products that I have for my hashtag seven deadly pans update for you guys. I know this was a short and sweet update, but that's how I like to keep them. And honestly, I really hope to get a lot more progress on some of these items because some of them are ones that I really want to finish up by the end of the project. And other ones are ones that I really want to make some good progress on, like my palette. I haven't ever hit a pan in an eyeshadow palette because I rotate mine so much. So I'm hoping that in one of these projects, I'm going to hit pan in one of these shadows. I don't even care which one it is at this point. I just want to hit pan in an eyeshadow just so I can say that I did it. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this project as of right now, and I will continue on with it until July 7th is when it ends, so every month I will continue to be updating it. So my next update will be May 7th, and then June 7th, and then July 7th will be the finale. So I have three more months to finish up the products that I want to finish up and make some good progress on the others. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.